Hello everyone, I am Tarun Kasik and today in this video we are going to discuss the solution of 2017 UPSC Civil Services Mains Mathematics paper and particularly in this video we are going to discuss the questions from the analytical geometry portion okay now let us start the first question of the analytical geometry was find out the equation of a tangent plane which is at a point uh, from this point uh, 1 1 1 to this conicoid 3x square minus y square equals to 2z okay so we know that this is a tangent plane and this is a conicoid and uh, this is the point which, which we can say 1 1 1 okay so this is the equation of a plane <coughs> so we have to find out the equation of that tangent plane which is touching this uh, to this conicoid so any line which is passing this this is not the point this is the line okay so any line which is passing from a point that is 1 1 1 is given by x minus 1 upon l where this uh, l m and these are the direction ratios of this or direction of sine of this line okay so how to proceed just calculate a common or generalized point by putting that equals to r and calculate the general point of this uh, tangent plane after that since this tangent uh, you can say this tangent is touching to this conicoid so this point which are generalized point lr plus 1 comma mr plus 1 comma nr plus 1 these generalized point will satisfy this this conicoid too so just put this equation of this uh, generalized point into this conicoid and after that just solve it for the this quadratic equation now we know that any tangent to any conicoid will touch it at a one point and at one point the value will be one okay or we can say the value will be same so the quadratic equation when the, the quadratic equation will give the two equal value when the coefficient when the, both the roots are equal okay for example uh, if i used to do a i'm rewriting it again a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 so th this b is the sum of the root okay if b equals to 0 then it what what does it mean it means that the sum of the roots are 0 okay so uh, when the sum of the roots are 0 then then it means this the coefficient of r should be 0 so this 6l minus 2m i'm uh, putting much more focus on that so i'm doing the zoom <clears throat> so this 6l minus 2m minus 2n equals to 0 so at any tangent we will have the one value of r and it is the and it is obtained by putting the coefficient of r is equal to 0 that is the sum of the two root is 0 okay G which i just told you now if this equals to 0 taking 2 as a common we get this so now put lmn because we have to el eliminate this lmn from this equation because these are the corresponding uh, you can say direction cosines and it can be removed uh, as this this l correspond to x minus 1 so just replace this l m n by x minus 1 y minus 1 and g minus 1 so after just doing simple calculation you get the equation of that tangent plane okay so this was the first question uh, in the upc 2017 mains paper for the 10 marks okay now the next question find out the shortest distance between the two skew lines two skew lines means which are not parallel they are these these are the two skew lines and last year the same type of question was asked but the difference was uh, since these two skew lines are given and in the last question paper the question was asked that we have to also find out the touching point in the point of intersection of these two skew lines but in this year only the distance between these two skew lines are asked so how to do it's a very simple question again i am putting it much more zoom so that it will be much more clear okay so this uh, this was the question these two lines are given we know that this portion 3 minus 8 i take this minus 8 uh, y minus 8 and this is minus 1 okay this is this is 8 minus y upon 1 hai. So I can write it y minus 8 divided by minus 1. Okay. So the upper portion denotes the point uh, from which it is passing and the lower portion that is the denominator part of a line represent the direction ratios. 
okay so the direction um, uh, the point of the first line that is 3 minus 8 and 3 and the directions are 3 1 1 it is of the first portion the second line that is minus 3 minus 7 and 6 and the seventh and the uh, direction ratios minus 3 that is 2 and 4 these are the given portion okay so we can write in this a1 a2 form a1 represents the points of the first line a2 represents the point of the second line calculate a2 minus a1 we get this this b1 is the uh, direction ratio of first line b2 is the direction ratio of second line calculate the cross product after calculating cross product from this determinant or uh, from this determinant rule calculate this um, modulus also after that just use this formula it is the dot product of these two a2 minus a1 and b1 cross b2 after just doing the simple dot product it's divided divide this dot product by the magnitude of this b1 cross b2 we get this as 3 root 3 into root 30 as our answer okay <coughs> sorry the next question was we have to show that this plane 2x minus 2y plus g plus 12 equals to 0 that is the sphere that the sphere is given and find out the point of this contact okay so now we know that this uh, is the given plane and this is the given sphere so the center of the sphere we can be calculated by the negative half of this that is minus one uh, sorry that is plus one min um, uh, plus two and minus one so the center is this and the radius we can we know that just uh, do the square of this and add that portion that is minus of uh, uh, subtract that portion minus of minus three that is plus three that is plus three after doing that we get the radius equals to three <clears throat> now we get the radius as 3 and the center as 1 2 and minus 1 we know that if this plane is touching this uh, touching to this sphere then the perpendicular distance from this origin or sorry not from the from the center from this plane should be equals to 3 radius or should be equals to ra the radius if it is touching okay so what we have to calculate we just calculate the distance of this plane from the center and if it comes out to be 3 then we can say that it is touching to the sphere so now let us proceed how to calculate the distance of a plane from a fixed point that can be anything or that can be origin that can be fixed point that can be a center that can be anything okay so if this if it that is the plane touches the sphere then the distance of the plane from the center should be equal to the radius of the sphere so the perpendicular distance from the center to the plane is given by 2 into x that is the value of that uh, center just put the value of the center and uh, just calculate the difference or uh, modulus of that uh, i'm doing it like that so that it will be much more clearly visible okay <coughs> what i did just put the value of uh, this 2x minus 2y minus plus z plus 12 just put the value of x as 1 y as 2 z as minus 2 in this equation and uh, divided by the uh, magnitude of that that is 2 square that is 4 minus 2 square that is 4 and 1 is 1 so just add these and calculate the under root that comes out to be 3 so when we divide it by 3 then we get the value of distance that comes out to be 3 so it means the radius that is 3 so it, it is definitely touching it so we have proved so now then the next portion of this this question it is asked that we have to calculate the point of intersection so how we can calculate the point of intersection we know this point the center we know and this point we can assume that can be x y z okay so uh, and we know that if any plane is this then the direction ratio of a plane is always perpendicular to that tangent uh, to that plane okay what i said the direction ratio of a plane is always perpendicular to its surface okay so how this information is beneficial for us we will be seeing that now this is the plane so the perpendicular this the, the perpendicular will be in this in this direction okay this is a plane and the perpendicular will be in this direction so the plane is uh, the plane the direction of the, the direction ratio of the plane is 
2 minus 2 and 1 because we know that how in the last slide this is the direction this is the 2 minus 2 and 1 these are the direction ratio of this plane okay now any line which is uh, passing from this point and having the direction is this we can we can write the equation of a line okay and calculate the generalized point the general point on this line will be this at the, at this uh, at this point a we have calculated okay the a point we have calculated that is the generalized point on this line since this point a which which is the this uh, x coordinate is 2r plus 1 y coordinate as minus 2r plus 2 and z coordinate as r minus 1 so just put this generalized point back into the equation of what into the tangent uh, that is the plane because this generalized point will be definitely uh, present on this plane so it will be satisfying the equation of the plane so just put the value of this x y z into the equation of the plane so that it will satisfy when we put the uh, this value of x y z into the equation of a plane that is the equation of a plane we get the value of r and just substitute the value of r back into this equation we get the point of contact that comes out to be minus 1 4 and minus 2 okay and the next question we have to find out the equation uh, find out the locus of the point of intersection of three mutually perpendicular tangent planes to this conicoid which is ax square plus by square plus cg square so the given conicoid is this and we know and we can let one of the three mutually perpendicular tangent plane is given by this equation okay we are very much familiar with this equation we have done so many equation on this equation so similarly uh, by the condition of tangency we can write it like that that is l1 square upon a plus m1 square upon b plus n1 square upon c equals to p1 square so the p value will be plus minus under root of this so we just calculate the uh, just uh, take the positive value so the p is this so just put the value of p back into that equation of what of this this is the equation which i was saying so just put the value of p back here so uh, what we get the value of the p is like that l1x plus m1y plus n1g equals to this equation let that that is the third equation and uh, similarly we get the second um, perpendicular and the third perpendicular so now what is the you can say not good thing about this because uh, that is lmn the presence of lmn the presence of direction cosines so we have to remove how we can remove just do the square of all these three equation and add them <clears throat> so how we can eliminate them just do the square and add them when we did so we know that l1 square plus l2 square plus l3 square equals to 1 because the sum of all these three direction cosines equals to 1 and the sum of uh, uh, and the product of two different different direction cosine will be equals to 0 because the angle will be 90 degree because there will be x-axis and y-axis l is correspond to x-axis and m correspond to y-axis and the angle between these two axes is 90 degree and we know that the cosine 90 equals to 0 so the product of these two l into m that is l dot m equals to 0 okay all these different will be get 0 and we are left with only this condition that is x square plus y square plus g square equals to 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c okay so we are done with this now for the better visibility I, I have put the zoom on that okay all these things will get zero we are left with only this so this is our solution so the next question that was a plane passes through a fixed point the point is given as abc it cuts the axis at the point abc respectively so find out the locus of the center of the sphere which passes through the origin o and the point abc so we know that this uh, sphere the generalized point of a sphere which passes through the origin is given by this equation that is x square plus y square plus g square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz equals to 0 now since uh, this point a which is the x intercept at x intercept the value of y and g will be equals to 0 so just just put y and z both equals to 0 in this equation of the sphere 
what we get we get the value of x that is minus 2 similarly when we put uh, x and g equals to 0 in the y coordinate then we get the value of y that is minus v minus 2v and z as minus 2w now <clears throat> the equation of a plane in its intercept form is given by x by x intercept y by y intercept and g by intercept uh, g is intercept equals to 1 when we put this value so just uh, take the 2 as common and put, and uh, send it to the right hand side okay so we are left with this so this is the equation of our this plane which is passing from these intercepts okay now it is uh, it is said that this point a b this plane is passing from this point a b c so if i put the value of x y z as a b c corresponding values so it, it, it will give me the value of this so it will definitely want to satisfy this plane equation isn't it? it it will definitely so this is a b c just replace this x by a y by b and z by c so we are uh, so we get this equation that is a by that and v by minus v and c by minus z plus 2 uh, it plus c by z c by minus w equals to 2 so the what is this minus u that what is this minus v and minus w isn't it the circle of the sphere which we just uh, uh, consider in the starting isn't it the center can be this is the minus u that will be minus v and that will be minus w so this is the center okay so we have to find out the locus so so what we can write we can replace this minus u from the x this minus v correspond to y and then this minus w correspond to z because we have to find out the locus okay so this a by x plus b y b by y plus c by z equals to 2 so this is our the locus of the center isn't it because this x represents the center uh, the center of the sphere okay so this is the equation which we have to solve so these are the some question in our last videos which we have discussed that question was directly asked okay i take the snapshot from that video and to show you that the questions are definitely uh, repeating itself this question show that this plane touches the sphere at the point of contact okay this question i explained in the one of video that is the analytical geometry part 5 sphere 2 that the same question it was repeated for the 10 marks now you can see the benefit of these videos okay this, this is the one question the next question which was uh, directly repeated that was in the 2016 mains question paper find out the locus of the point of intersection of the three mutually perpendicular tangent plane to the conicoid ax square plus by square plus cg square it is again definite uh, again repeated okay and i i can say it is the same question in this video analytical geometry part 7 upsc question solutions okay so this was that uh, information for you and for those who are new to this video they can contact me on my whatsapp number and my number is this okay and there's a whatsapp group i can add you on this in this whatsapp group so that you can discuss your problem with fellow candidates or fellow aspirant okay so that's all for this video and one more information i would like to give you you can download the pdf of this solution in the as the link is given below in the description so that's all for this video and thank you for watching this video